here today at Manchester Airport for another travel day. Yeah, so this time we're off to Orlando for two weeks. We're going to be staying at Cabana Bay and we've got lots of fun things planned. We can't wait to take you along with us. Just in case you haven't been on the channel before, my name's Dane. And I'm Laura. We do all things kind of theme parks, holidays, um, random days out in there sometimes as well related to it. Yeah, hope you enjoy. There's the announcement. And hopefully at the end of this travel day we'll have something exciting to show you. It all depends on the weather, so fingers crossed. All right, so we are here at Duty Free, and immediately as you walk in, they've got 12.49 for a litre of snow. Not bad. Not bad, but I think there's going to be some we can best. Do better. We can do better. So we've got deeper into the Duty Free, still looking for a drink. Chapel Rowan is serenading us, so I'm sure you can hear that. Please don't copyright us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So £27.9 for normal Jack Daniels. Oh, that's gone up. That yeah, was, it was, used to be way cheaper. Yeah, we did well last time we were here. It was two years ago, I suppose, when we were looking. Jim Beam, $16.99. Maybe we'll get that this time. <laughs> Maybe we'll voice over this entire thing because Chapel Rowan is absolutely going for it. <laughs> so we have got our purchase. It's in this sealed bag. Jack Daniels. We went for Jack Daniels. Nothing else was really going to happen, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to find some breakfast now, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So we're in Terminal 2, so we're in the nice, fancy new place that you've seen in videos, I'm sure, plenty of times. But we'll show you a few clips. We're thinking we're probably going to go to the Bridgewater Exchange, but you never know, we might we might take a swift left. We'll see. Just a change in personnel here at Manchester Airport. We've got giraffe in place of Wagamana. Um, do like a breakfast at giraffe, to be fair, but uh, feeling Bridgewater today. And here we are at the old trusty favourite. I like the beers in here. Is that a good reason to come? I don't know. Good reason, Danny. <laughs> So we're going to our seat. Will we get a good seat? Let's find out. So just having a look at the breakfast menu. I'm going to get the eggs benedict just there. Not sure what Dane's going to get. We'll find out when it turns up. So our breakfast pints have arrived. These are the diamond lager. <laughs> what did you go for for breakfast? I said I got the... Po uh, the I got exactly the same as you, yeah. Uh, eggs benedict. It's, a bit of a, a bit, it's been a weird atmosphere the past couple of days because we're going to Orlando, but we're currently awaiting Hurricane Milton to make landfall on Wednesday, it's Monday today. And the atmosphere's been a bit strange. So yeah, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. We're still excited, but there's a little bit not knowing what to expect, because we've not been during a hurricane before. So I forgot to say as well, check-in and security took about five minutes in total. There was like no one in front of us. The staff couldn't have been friendlier, and it was just a breeze, so we can spend more time enjoying it in it. Yeah, we didn't even have to figure out the um, how to put the tags on ourselves when we uh, self-checked in our cases, which is <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning. It was a bit later today, but usually it's like six o'clock in the morning, and that is very high load on the brain that, in that time of morning. Here we are, two eggs Benedict. It comes with bacon as opposed to like thick cut ham, but you know what, it's actually going to do the trick to be fair. Um, Laura's got exactly the same thing. The plates are molten lava, so we might like get second degree burns from this, but it's going to be tasty. Here we are. Another good thing about the Bridgewater is that they've got views outside. Looks like there's quite a lot of construction going on at T2 at the moment, to be fair. Got a few Jet 2 planes and a few Virgin Atlantic planes over there as well. A couple of Tui Dreamliners just in the distance. So, a couple of very happy customers here. Just to let you know the prices, two eggs benedict and two diamond lagers came to £36 in total. Airport prices, in my opinion, but yeah, it's still going down a tree. All right, so because we got through security so cleanly, basically we've got another beer now in the Amber Ale House, which is a Seven Brothers house. Uh, there's one of these in Middlewood Locks in Manchester, and it's really quite a lovely beer, actually. We've got the Hell's Lager. It's pretty good. Yeah, this is one of our favourites. We go there quite a bit in Manchester. So we're going to enjoy these now. We might get some food. There's a small bite section, we'll see. But if not, we'll enjoy the pints anyway. So we've just done the prerequisite WH Smith and Boots, got ourselves a little cheeky meal deal just in case we don't like where it was being offered on Main. And now we're heading down to the gate, A12, which is three to five hours walk. <laughs> yeah, furthest you can go. First moving walkway of the holiday. The moving walkway exit is approaching. Please, what's your step? 
There we go. <laughs> Benny Jet, like that. Love the bus puns that come with uh, mega buses as well. Anyway, how's that plane? And it's boarding time. Here we go. Walking down the gangway. Oh, down there. No, nope, that's the lift. <laughs> ah, I'm getting flashbanged. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we're going down the stairs. We'll check in in a sec. Here's a closer look at Benny Jet. Going down the actual gangway now. This is exciting. This kind of gangway always reminds me of Symphony of the Seas. <laughs> Here we go. We're having flight. Very exciting. We're in the middle, so no out the window action. But yeah, I don't expect the takeoff and landing, but you've seen it a million times. You know how we're playing goes. It's okay. <laughs> Very exciting. We've got a good we're on a, we're on a middle line. We've got a good leg move. Going to look at the impact to take off. And steps is on. Right, we're moving now. This is the best we're going to see. Isn't it wonderful? So we're being very similar to one another today. We've both got these, well these came by default, crunchy car nibbles. Both gone for a JD and Coke Zero for the Glashk. And we're both watching 30 Rock as well. There's Alec Baldwin's beautiful face. <laughs> Food has arrived. It was cheese and tomato pasta or sausage and mash, but they did run out of the cheese and tomato pasta. So this is the sausage and mash. I think that's with red cabbage. And then cheese and crackers, chocolate pot. Not sure. And we got some red wine as well. Wine and a can. Oh, and a bread roll. And we got two red wines because our cabin crew is an absolute ledge. So we've now been given an ice lolly. This is the pip one and this is the rainbow ice lolly. I'll show you in a sec. So this is what it looks like. Four hours, 31 to go. So it's now time for our afternoon tea. So the box is here. It's gone, it's <laughs> through the walls. Look at all right. It looks a bit more of like a cake, but it, <laughs> at least it's not been through the walls like Laura's. And then there's just like three finger sandwiches in here. Or is it two? Two finger sandwiches in here. And some jam and cream. We're off the plane now, heading it towards, I think, customs first and then baggage. Not too sure. Through security. We're officially in America. Yes, we're at baggage claim now. I um, think I've just seen mine. Hopefully. Fingers crossed we'll get through soon. Oh, here's the monorail. We're gonna get on now. Alright, we are here at Orlando International Airport. Just got off the monorail. The flag is in the background there. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're gonna keep it short and sweet and get to Cabana Bay because it is so busy. You can see all the people behind me. <laughs> Alright, so we've just left baggage claim. How'd you find the flight? So I thought it was probably one of the smoothest flights that we've had. It was really good service from all the cabin crew on board. It was just really easy. Obviously a long flight, but it felt easy. Yeah, it was. I would agree with that. It was, uh, yeah, there was plenty of good entertainment. I took all my makeup off because the aircon dries my face out. So I did a whole routine on the plane and then I'll get ready again at Cabana Bay. Uh, what else? I mean, yeah, it was an eight hour flight. Put down from nine hours, it was eight hours, 17 minutes. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a bit boring, long haul flying, isn't it? But you know, like, we're here now. I'm ready to go to Cabana Bay. And it's human. And it's very human. Very human. So we have arrived at Cabana Bay. I can see a Halloween Horror Nights. It is Halloween Horror Nights. Hopefully, we'll get to go by Thursday. We feel the aircon, which feels beautiful. Pumpkins everywhere. It feels so good to be back. Ah, we're here. We've got the beautiful music in the background. We've got spooky Halloween decorations behind us. Back home. It feels so good to be back. It's like we've never left. Yeah. We're gonna check in now and then the queue's really short so we're gonna check in real quick and then see what room we're in. So we've just got to our room. We just paid for an upgrade. We thought that we wanted to go for a pool view instead. We're not gonna do a full room tour in this one but we did do it in one of the towers so I'll link that video above and down below if you wanna check that out. It's basically the same room, just a little bit more round. But let's have a look at this view. So first off, you can see the volcano 
We've got the lazy river and then there's the pool as well. This is amazing and can I just say we had a volcano bay room once and it wasn't as good as this one. <laughs> we you paid for it. The volcano wasn't as good. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get ready, refresh, and then we're gonna head out to City Walk, I think. All right, so we are finally ready here, just about to leave the room. We did plan to go to Fun Spot Orlando to do the Sky Coaster today. Uh, we thought it would be a bit of a different start to the holiday, like start it in style, right? But the weather is unfortunately letting us down a little bit. Yeah, the rain's relentless. Like we said, there is a hurricane coming and it's a lot of wind and rain leading up to that. So it's looking like we're not going to be able to do that today. So we're both pretty disappointed, but plan is to still head out to City Walk. Rain can't stop us. Get a poncho. Yeah, we've got our ponchos and our bags ready to go. We're definitely going to get a Margaritaville because that's inside anyway. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get a Fat Tuesday as well. We'll see. Well, we get all of our photos for Instagram. Look at these cool posters, man. Well, fun and sun at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort, that says. I can see the sky coaster from here. Can you? Just seeing what we could have won. There's an arch just over there and that's where it is and it just can't be running today. You can probably just about make it out in the centre of the picture there. There's an arch. Um, but yeah, it just is. But it's not on the cards, it's not on the cards. And if it? it was running today, we'll be pelted in the face, which ain't great either. Yeah. Also, we've got to look at this vintage phone this caught my eye. <laughs> just in case you need to ring someone. Look at that for a phone. Brilliant. Look at the ocean on the light, that's cool. Yeah. I feel like I don't appreciate Welcome to our tour of this one specific corridor in the Americana wing of Cabana Bay. I feel like I don't appreciate it all, so appreciating. Right, we're gonna go and get our refill cups now. Here we are, Cabana Bay's Bay Liner Diner. One of the uh, most favourite things are these old timey 50s adverts that they play. Really cool. So, I can just say, the refillable Cabana Bay cup this year is amazing. And secondly, the price of structures changed. So, one to three days is $19, four to seven to 25, and eight or more is $30. Wow. It's a little bit more than last time, but I know. It still represents good value. Yeah. So just come over here, we've seen another refillable cup, but this one is like for the 10th anniversary of Cabana Bay. And I came here 10 years ago and stayed at Cabana Bay, and it's the only universal hotel of any hotel I've ever stayed at. We're gonna get one of each now because... I can't, if I, if I recommend going anywhere else, she literally turns into Satan. <laughs> so. so we're gonna get these cups. So here it is, Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine. You may have seen one of these if you've been in somewhere like a Five Guys or maybe even a Royal Caribbean ship, they have some as well. But they've got all of the options in the world and you can combine it with different syrups as well. And this is what you can get your drinks from. My favorite is Pib and I get Pib Zero because you know, I'm gonna be having a million calories so I might as well not have it in my drink as well. <laughs> and yeah you can see you can get different flavours. We don't tend to get them because they taste a little artificial so yeah just a just a good stuff. And we got it for the entirety of our stay. A mole apparently. <laughs> Let's stay. All right our refill cups have been refilled. Here is the magical Universal Studios bus that's going to take us over to City Walk. I think it's starting to feel real for me as soon as I step on this bus to be fair. Here we go. Just about to go on City Walk. Laura's received a 70th hair comp compliment in about 10 minutes. I'm very happy. <laughs> Through security and then on to City Walk. Live Laura reaction to finally realising that we're actually here. It's taken me a bit more time. <laughs> Sorry, post. It's taken me a little bit more time this time. I don't know why, but now that we're approaching the moving walkway, it's real. <laughs> Here we go, here's the moving walkway. It's not moving. It's not moving. Oh. Here we go. We are the moving walkway. We are the moving walkway. Here we are, first time seeing the new ish sign. Uh, I feel like saying this is brand new on Radio 2 when actually the song's about three years old. But anyway, here we go. That is the crowd that's heading towards us. So, wish us luck. Alright, so the goal is to get to Red Oven Pizza Baker, which is just across the way. We have a. just a lot of people that we need to get past. Alright, so we've gone for a big eye pepperoni. I changed my mind last minute, went for a margarita. Total came to 34.08. Just as I finished filming the receipt, they've arrived. So here's my margarita and pepperoni for Laura. 
I'm so excited. We're, we're so happy. We're so angry. We're so hungry. We just need to eat. Oh my god. I'm so excited, and it looks much better than my ham and pineapple in 2022. There we are. Two very satisfied customers. Um, I definitely didn't steal two of Laura's slices, and we both eat both eating the same amount. Um, I got two full, so Dane helped me out. So good though. We've only been dreaming about this pizza for what, four or five months since we started making the plan? Basically. Anyway, we're going to find a Fat Tuesday now and we'll walk around and see what. Here we are at Fat Tuesday. This is a strange remix of I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys and we are going to get probably with an extra shot um, some frozen beverages. Here we are in the strangest light possible. You can't even see the colours, but these are our usual orders. We always get these. Refer back to 2022 video if you don't believe me. But I felt really weird ordering a Cat 5 Hurricane knowing that there's one coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are doing our best Frankenstein impressions. Um, Great lighting. 180 miles an hour Hurricane Milton is at the moment. So it's a. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've just been reassured by like everyone here that it's going to be fine if you're on property. But we're at Bay, so it's all good. So we're going to enjoy these frozen cocktails right now. So we were just walking around City Walk and we've come up to the arches because we've realised they've taken the medallion down, which means they are preparing for this hurricane. Well, obviously they are, but we can see it now. I've never been here when there's no medallion. We always come during Horror Night, so it's kind of weird to see. They're all so... They've also strapped up the banners that they normally have here as well. So with NBC over here, we've got one of the best views of City Walk in, in our opinion. You can see the Universal Studios store through there. There's Cowfish moving across to Antahito's in the distance there. Margaritaville signs over there as well. Look at this. It's beautiful. We've just walked over to Islands of Adventure. Everything's closed right now, but um, the entrance music is still belting out of the park and just take a second to appreciate it. through lockdown quite a lot didn't it we kept playing it on a loop yeah our florida plans got cancelled in 2020 and 2021 um and yeah we were just playing this on a loop man. like yeah i mean lockdown was a strange time wasn't it but um this music helped a lot get us through it and that and starting youtube it would be rude to not get a little nightcap from jimmy buffett's margaritaville this is the first time we've been here since the legend that is jimmy buffett has passed away we will definitely raise our marks to women's side. So we are finally here in Margaritaville. There's some live tunes on in the background. There's a coast to hear that Laura is very much going to commit a crime for this deal. We've gone for two foods to play margaritas. Um, and the, the uh, booze in the background. Yeah, it's back up and running. So when we were here two years ago, it was for up, but it's back. So yeah, we're chilling right now. Um, there's a perfect margarita which we always thought, you it know, must be perfect. it's perfect. Who's to blame? We yeah, prefer that one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Something that wasn't immediately apparent to us, but we've been questioning it, is Hard Rock's Coliseum refurbishment, or suspected Coliseum refurbishment, because we're not that confident, basically. I kept looking at it and just kept saying it looks different. Yeah, but they've, they've painted it beige and added some burgundy columns. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just sat in Margaritaville for a bit anyway, made some memes. <laughs> yeah, um, paid homage to Jimmy Buffett. Um, I suggested filming us like toasting to him, but it was kind of cringe, so we didn't do that. Thought it'd be a bit cheesy. It was just something for us. Yeah, uh, we're heading home now. Um, low battery signals just come up, so we'll catch up to you when we're back at Cabana. So 
we've come for our final nightcap at the Swizzle Lounge in Saikabana Bay and it's all set up perfectly for Halloween and Halloween Horror Nights. There is a little Lil Boo pumpkin over there and I was going to get a Lil Boozy cocktail but sadly they did not have the ingredients. So we have gone for the same thing. We've got our Swizzle sticks in air as well on theme for the bar. And these were the cocktails for Halloween Horror Nights. So the one we've gone for is the Ghostly Delight. So never drink alone, folks. We have finished our drinks at Swizzles. We've decided to come outside for a little bit, have a walk down this way. See the little pump <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> See the little palm trees. I always say I want to do toasting some s'mores and we never do it and we probably won't this year but if we do you'll be the first to know <laughs> we almost forgot to sign off but here we are we remembered look at us we're improving yes eh? <laughs> we're doing great we had one nightcap at swizzles lounge it was like a spicy mango margarita it was pretty good it was a good one yeah and then we just went and got another freestyle cup bit from bayliner diner bottle of water and now Back watching Milton updates. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it's um, yeah, it's it's our life it now. Is what it is. For the next 24, 48 hours or something like that. But that being said, if you've liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Just as we get here, Laura goes. <laughs> do I get a picture with the globe? The adventure begins. Look at this little teeny tiny one on top. I don't like this ride anymore. <laughs> Give us a smile. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>